Hello, Pokemon fans. I'm Professor K. And I'm Men. And welcome to another Mega Mailbox Mania Monday, where we open up the fan mail you guys have sent to us over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we have about uh, six submissions, I believe. No, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five submissions for this week. So um, if you guys would like to be part of the series, our P.O. Box is in the description down below. And uh, we will always open up the mail here whatever we get from you guys to be featured here on the channel. So we have a first off, we have an FCBM here from TRX C5R. Not really sure what that's supposed to stand for, but there's actually two. I got two different envelopes, but then I realized that they were from the same person. So I combined them and uh, made it a little bit easier. So let's see what the note says first. Wait, I know your weakness N, tape. Oh boy. <laughs> here we go. I don't like this. Please subscribe to TRXC5R, because why not? Can't argue that go. logic. Dear Professor Crossed Out N and Professor K. Oh, someone wants to start a fight. It's been two years since I first sent cards in uh, your OG mail days, and I sent again last year. Hope you like you all like these cards. May you also... Wait. Keep up the good work. I'm not sure what the rest of it says. I can't really read it. Uh, P.S. N isn't a professor. There we go. We must silence the non-believer. All right. So, let's see what mine is first. There's yours. N, not a professor. I don't like that. <laughs> We've got a Team Plasma Ball. I remember those days. Giratina. Team Plasma Grunt. Porygon from Team Rocket. A Hollow Chandelure. Hollow Xerneas. Ampharos. Rival. Whoa, that's a base set Gyarados. Ooh. What? Holy cow. That's awesome. We got a Lugia from Pop 5, a Clotzer Break, and a Gardevoir GX. GX? EX. Gosh, you know, when GXs first came out, I was saying <laughs> EX all over the place, and now GX is out, and I see it in EX, and I still call it a GX. Like, make up your mind. Come on. I can't. I can't deal with this. Just go. It's your turn. <laughs> yep. Can't handle it. No, you cannot. Future. All right, so we have oh, oh, Kadabra, that's cool. Scapegoat, that's also cool. Zora, six points. Phoenix Chain, Infernoid Cymatis, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, nice. Super Heavy Samurai, Metapod, Inke, Heliosk. And ooh, the full art Mega Lucario. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. They came out with a spirit link too late. Way too late. Rest in peace, my sweet prince. Alright, so let's go ahead with the next submission. It is an FCBM from Josh. Alright, so the note is wrapped around the stuff. Alright. Dear Pokemon Evolutionaries, first off, I just want to thank you. I honestly can't remember when I first subscribed to you, but I wish I could have done it sooner. The past year was my senior year of high school, class of 2018, and I honestly might not have graduated if it hadn't been for you guys. What? Oh, wow. Wow. I really struggled every day, and my only saving grace was coming home and getting to watch you guys. I can't thank you enough. That being said, it really saddens me as... You post the occasional video about channel updates because I and all your other fans pray you are close to you are you are close to keep this channel strong. I think so. All I can say is that although I don't like the ability to send you anything physical, I will continue supporting you by watching all of your videos and just being a true fan. Well, thank you very much. That's all we. Get. That's all anyone could ask for. Yeah, exactly. I'll ask if it returns that you would it would mean a rule to me if you guys would sign a return of the cards I've added water for K and a dark for N. Sincerely, Josh, aka Pokemon Mastery on Twitter. And PS while I'm a big fan of both K and N, there are some things that need to be addressed. N is a professor. Gross. Halucha is a is better than Helioptile. Okay, no. That I can't agree with. Halu Helioptile is always better. Esper will always be worth six points in every pack war. Okay. Return Judge for cards is an uploader with the top loader. Alright. So, okay. So the <laughs> Return Judge is in between the cards. So you sign the water, I sign the dark. Yep. 
We could definitely do that, but is there a del is there still a delay on the signature cards? Yeah. I still haven't gotten caught up enough. Okay. So it might be a little bit of a wait, but we will definitely get these to you signed, my friend. Thank you for being a true fan, and happy to know we were able to help. And I almost knocked down the microphone. That was close. But I didn't. And Professor N saved the day. No. Only M. You saved the day from yourself. That's the only thing. Hey, that awesome guy said I was a professor, so I'm a professor. The first one said you weren't, so so far we've canceled it out. Anyway, we got an FCBM here from Estella. Let's see what we have here. Dear Professor K and M, thank you for your awesome videos. I love your Mega Mailbox Mania Monday videos, especially. In this tin, I've sent some code cards that you can share with your viewers or on your streams. I also included GX counters, poison, and healing counters, uh, as well as pieces from deck boxes. Continue your good work. Sincerely, Estella. Well, thank you very much for that. I remember these Machamp tins. I opened up quite a few of them, actually. Let's see. There are a lot of... Okay, this must be just like for packaging purposes. There's the GX counter. This one's paper, though. Huh. I don't recall there ever being a paper one like that. That's interesting. There are some damage counters here. Some of the uh, cardboard ones, as well as the poison counters that are here. And the burn counters as well. And... One second. I will sort this out. <laughs> Let's move all this stuff over here. Over there. All right, so these came from the Dollar Tree packs, which they're not actually code cards, they're just like advertisements. But there are some code cards here below that. Actually, there's quite a few. Wow. Um, okay, so there it starts. Okay, so there are a bunch here. All kinds of code cards here. I'm going to pick a few random ones and give them to you guys, especially the ones of you who watch the Mega Mailbox Mini Monday videos whole bunch of them here as well. Let's see. We're going to go with those two. That one. And that one. That one. And that one. Sorry. Going to give you guys a bunch of these. Try to diversify them up a bit as well. So we got a couple of good ones. We got a couple of okay ones. First, we're going to start with Fates Collide. There you go. Celestial Storm. Breakpoint. Forbidden Light. Twilight Rogue. That's a theme deck, I believe. Guardians Rising. And Crimson Invasion. So hopefully you guys grab those. If you grabbed one, please don't grab any more than that. Leave them for other people. That is all I asked there. All right. So after that, we have this box here. This is an FCBM here from Lil Bruno, which I'm going to let N take a look at here. Go ahead. Alrighty, Lil Bruno, let's see what you got today. What's this? It's the alphabets! Now this is the kind of alphabet we need to be teaching our kids in school. Pokemon alphabet. I knew we'd get you to learn somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I walked right into that one. Yes, you did. All right, so we have Arcanine Bulbasaur. I forgot how to pronounce this. Cryogonal. Yeah, Cryogonal. Bill Cosby. Six points flag. Okay. Espa Flagon. Gengar Honage. Inke. Dolteon Klefki. Luxray Mew. Nidoran. Osh. I almost said Oshawott. Wow. Oddish. Banfi. Quagsire. Raichu. We got a Sneasel. Typhlosion. Unpheasant. Venonat. Whimsicott. Xerneas. Yamask. And Zubat. Now that is awesome. Happy 20th anniversary, Pokemon. That was drawn by the person who sent this. Yeah. I don't want to like risk smushing that or anything. There's a piece of cardboard in there, so it should be fine. That's incredible. Yes, it is. Wow. 
There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, there's nothing in the papers. Yeah, the papers are just packaging. All right. <gasps> please, please both sign and send back. And that money there, I'm going to assume, is for N. It's shipping. No, it's for N. I already know it's shipping. Oh, why can't N ever keep the money? Just for once, just once, let N keep the money. Oh, what's this? We got hey. some, we got some extra letters. Nice, Klefki, Nidoran. What else? Luxray, Luxray for Lucas. Oh, I get it now. K and L. Now you get it. Now I get it. Oh my gosh. I'm a disgrace. All right, so we got Pokemans. We got a no one likes a pick a pick. Pick a pick. Pick a pick. No one likes a pick a pick. I like pick a pick. He's cute. And we got ourselves Snowy. It's a low in Vulpix, but his name is Snowy. Whoa. What? These promos, though. Whoa. Um, hello? Alright, so we got a Toys R Us Meow. Toys R Us Piplup. I don't have that one. Pikachu. Magic Fish. Clefairy. Charmander. Vulpix. Lick the Buzz. And Nebby. I never got the Piplup. Hey, you're not going to. I'm popping all your bubbles now. I am wounded by this. Stop it. They're done. So is your Piplup. He popped every last bubble. I'm going to keep this Piplup. I know where you sleep. I don't sleep. I'm a college student. <laughs> Seriously, me sleep? It's perfectly normal to have like a couple pounds of bags under your eyes, right? Did you read the note? There was a note. It was sitting right here. You took it out. Read the note! <laughs> Oops, I totally forgot about the note. Amateur. Sawi. Dear Professor K and Professor N. I'm doubting this. <laughs> my name is, my name is Chelsea A. Bruno, aka Lil Bruno. I saw one of your TCG facts in history in my recommended a couple of years ago and after watching some Renee Collects videos and been hooked on since. I love your videos and you guys got me back into the Pokemon card game collecting, which I haven't been into since I was a kid when the first cards were released. I still had a I still had a lot of them from 15 years ago under my bed and you guys got me to dig them out and add to them. I've been wanting to send a package for a while and I finally got around taking the time to put a package together. I am an illustrator and webcom artist. I have two webcomics. One is a Pokemon fan comic called S Sydney's Pokemon Adventure. I'll have to check that because I actually really like fan comics of Pokemon. And, the, and, and also an original comic show I call I Love My Life. I sent two of my Pokemon prints that I sell online at cons. I also sent some of my Pokemon stickers for you both and Lukey. I know you'll know which one is for who. I was a Toys R Us employee, so I decided to send the Toys R Us promos I had extras of, even though you already have them, as well as some bulk and other random goodies. I also sent one both of you to sign its label, the baggie with some stamps and extra cash. Extra cash! I already took it. It's ends! You were wrong! Does it really say it's for you? It says extra cash. Oh, well, that doesn't mean it's for you either. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> If any of your viewers are interested in my prints slash stickers or would like to read my Pokemon fan comment, which I hope they would like, all my links are on my official artist web page, website homepage at littlebruno.com. Go ahead and check that out, guys. I also have speed paints showing how I made the art I gave you on YouTube if anyone's interested in seeing the process. LittleBruno63. Love all that you do, and thank you both for revitalizing my love for Pokemon TCG. I mainly collect for the art, and I love looking at all the ones you guys opened. Keep up the awesome work. P.S. I haven't made fan art yet, but I will. As soon as I do, I'll send them to you to Twitter. Oh, wow, so we're getting fan art of us, too. Mine will be amazingly handsome, and yours will be lucky if we are able to show art of you on public YouTube. But I'm, but this artist is good. I'm sure she can make you presentable enough for public. Mm. 
I have faith in this artist. She can make Professor K better to look at. Wow. <laughs> oh, please, you roast me all the time. You had this coming. And we also got a mini binder of Pikachu and Shiny Mew from the Shiny Legends little pack blister there. Very cool, very cool. Oh, we also got the Sokolair and Lunala one too. Nice, I believe that was from the Sun and Moon base. And we got stuff here. We got commons, uncommons, rares, reverses, trainers, energies, and commons again. I'll go ahead and put aside the energies because we already know what energies look like. It's definitely going to be very useful to us though. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uncommons and rares. Oh boy, there's a lot of tape on this. Professor. I'm sorry about what I said about your appearance. Yeah, okay. Help me. What, are you having trouble? Yes, it's taped. <gasps> They're all taped. Of course they are. <laughs> oh, jeez, this is even hard. There you go. Give me. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shiny stuff. I like Spritzy a lot. I wish we would get back the aromatis. I miss that aromatis so much. Do you, Professor? Yeah, it's a good card. Aromatis Big Basics. That was the time to play Pokemon. Back when Pokemon made sense. Here's your next deck. All right, so we got our Hazard Haxorus, Zoark. Raikou, Ludicolo, Electros, Falcarona, Raikou, Golem, and Magnet Zone. There's other things here that I need you to open. Okay. There's three more stacks. He is the personal bag opener. So this was, I believe, one of the common ones, right? What? Which stack was this? Was that was this like the commons and uncommons? Look at the rarity symbol. Yes, I'm just saying like what was it labeled? Oh, he was useless. Remember? Yes, this was the common slash uncommon with my homeboy Fat Pikachu. You just told me to open it, so that's all I did. <sighs> He's so useless, guys. No wonder he, he and he wonders why he'll never go past intern. And little camera boy. I'm gonna stop opening these. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Sorry, I'm going back and forth as fast as I can. And this is just some more. That's what interns do. You know what? Shut up. You're still camera boy. <gasps> Six points. I see some fat chews there. All right, and I believe there was another stack. Yes. There was this stack of comments. Now this one I'm pretty sure is just commons, since that's what this was labeled. Had nothing wrong with bulk though. Especially with Pokemon, you can always make use of Pokemon bulk. And we've had awesome fans send us binders just made. Like the little mini binders that were made out of bulk cards. There's a lot you can do with bulk. Other than just, of course, selling. You could also do lots of artsy things with it too. And oh wow. A lot of these turns we could actually use. Like the energy retrievals, there was a sh switches. Fan club's definitely good. Ooh, mysterious fossil. Why? That's mean. <laughs> That's mean. Oh well, we have some old school stadiums here like Cerulean City Gym. Nice. 
Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much, little Bruno. And we are dead. We will definitely sign those and send them back. And I will keep my money because it's my money. All right, get up here. You have one more thing to open. Yep. Yeah, I apologize for the back and forthness from there. But yeah, I'm not good with tape. I'm very bad with tape. I need help, guys. Help me conquer tape. All right, so we have one more thing here. Now, you guys may remember in the previous video where uh, we had an FCBM or a, a F... I don't remember what I put on the box, but we had something that was sent to us <laughs> by Chris, and uh, he mentioned that my gift was still on the way. Well, apparently this is it. And, of course, it comes from the same place that the last one came from. I don't know what the heck this is. All I did was just take the tape off of it. Wait a second. Wait a second. What the heck? Make sure. I'm, I mean, this is the gift. There's no question. Okay. I don't want to miss anything. What the heck? This is like the real deal. I didn't even know this was a thing. So, all right, N has one of N that was actually, like, made for American. Wait. This is Japanese. Is that an Android? An Android? Yes, but it's a Japanese one. Whoa. Specifically from Japan. Like, legit isn't even Giovanni, it's... Oh, man, how do you pronounce this? Sakaki? Is that how you say it? I don't even know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Like, it's Mewtwo too, so how the heck did you even get this? Because Mewtwo's like... It's Mewtwo, and it's Giovanni! Giovanni?! What?! How did you get... How was this even available? This is insane. Okay, so, for those of you who don't know, I do actually collect, like, figures. Um... Not not just for Pokemon, but also, like, I collect Dragon Ball Pops and stuff like that. This is going right up there on the same shelf as those. I'm actually going to back my lights up here. I want to show you guys what my Pop collection looks like as of right now. And it's going to go up here alongside of it. Oh, boy. Hold on a second. They're showing them the fire hazard that is your Pop collection. Yeah, it literally is a fire hazard. Okay, guys, check it out. Excuse the mess. So there's my Pop collection. Uh, let me get the microphone over here. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna disconnect everything else. I'm just gonna bring it along with me. Here you go, guys. <laughs> All right. So this, turn the light off. There we go. This is my pop collection. Everything is gonna go, it's gonna go right up here alongside of this stuff, but I really only collect the Dragon Ball Pops and that's being blocked by other stuff. I apologize. I've got some packs there that are blocking the way and we've got some figures here as well for Dragon Ball besides, but it's gonna go right up here, along with all of this stuff. And these are my extra ones, actually. Here. Right now I have an extra Chocolate Boo, an extra Goku Black, and an extra Super Saiyan Vegeta from, is the uh, triple anime, triple A anime exclusive. But it's gonna go up there alongside of that. And then the one Pokemon pop that they've, been, they've made so far is that Pikachu one. So it's gonna go probably like right here in this empty slot. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know like the Ash and Pokemon character pops are gonna be. Yeah, when they eventually get to them. You are right. You are right. That's super cool, man. Thank you so much for that. That is amazing. Wow. You weren't kidding when you said there was something big headed my way. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, that is gonna do it for today's Mega Mailbox Mania Monday. Thank you guys so much for all of your continued submissions and support. We really do appreciate you guys a lot. Um, you know, things haven't exactly been going so great with Pokemon lately. I think that shows across the board for everybody, though. Um, I don't know if Pokemon TZG is just on a downswing or what, but um, we do appreciate your guys' continued support through this. And uh, thank you. Thank you. That's all I can really say here, so... Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and we will see you guys in the next video. PO box is in the description down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and see you next time.